going to address a very serious matter. Of course, I've always talked about very serious issues, but this one is extreme, okay? Extremely serious. We constantly hear of suicide, suicide. This person died of suicide. This person committed suicide. This person jumped off the balcony. This person took overdose. This person did this, this person did that, this person. I mean, it's just been too much the last few years. The statistics is mind blowing. And I think that we must address this issue. Especially now that it's mostly young people. I mean, you have young people who are supposed to have this whole life ahead of them, this whole future to to create goals, to pursue great things and achieve great success in life and, you know, pursue just, you know, great ideas and live to their full potential. They're just dying, committing suicide, just dying because they can't take the pain anymore because they can't take what's happening in society. There is so much confusion with the advent of social media, with all the mirage that we have to deal with every day on social media. And you know, the hate people are spewing on social media, the negative energy they're spreading on social media. I mean, even when you meet people on the streets, they're like zombies, they're like robots. People don't even know how to interact with, with each other anymore. People don't understand what is human compassion, what is love, what is understanding, what is patience, what is tolerance. People don't understand these things anymore because everyone is right behind their device, you know, just writing trash, criticizing, casting as passions, passing strictures for no reason, not even looking into their, their own lives, into themselves, the change that they need, the growth that they need as individuals no one really cares anymore all they look for is what is going on in other people's lives or oh, what's happening in our life what is she doing and oh he's doing this wrong and he's doing that wrong that's what's happening in our society today and this is so sad because the young ones can't take it they can't handle it they don't know how to balance their their their, their private lives with this with their public lives they don't know how to do it they don't know what is going on because you know that what's happening in the social life and the public life is actually taking control of their private lives and taking dominance on their private lives and so they don't even know how to be anymore they don't know what being is anymore they try to impress people on social media. They try to impress their friends, to impress society, to fit into the box society has carved for them. We need to address these issues. These are the reasons for the suicide, the illusion of social media, the mirage of social media. That's what's triggering the suicide thoughts in the minds of young people. They're struggling to keep up. They're struggling to keep up. They're struggling to fit in, to keep pace with what's happening on social media, what's happening in the world, and the world of illusion. They're struggling to keep pace. We need to address these issues. For more of my inspirational messages, I need you to visit my website, ify.com. You can download you know, my books, from my website, ife.com, 3 E's F Y dot com, E E E F Y dot com. And you can visit my shop to view my branded products. It's all about inspiring. I myself, once upon a time, had those thoughts. Yes, I actually attempted suicide when I was eight years old. So I understand, I understand the feeling but I say to you, darlings, those of you that are nurturing these suicide thoughts, those of you that are going through pain, the excruciating pain, the anxiety attacks, the physical pain, the mental pain, the trauma that is driving those thoughts, I say to you, please don't fight it alone. Seek help. 
Don't fight it alone. Call for help, darlings. Call for help, please. They have organizations that address this suicide thoughts. They have, they have people that are qualified to help you, to offer you the type of help that you need. Professional help is what you need. Don't fight it alone. Don't stay at home and say, oh, you know, well, sometimes these thoughts go away. The other day, I got a message from someone on Facebook saying that she's been fighting the suicide thoughts all her life, you know, since she was a kid. And sometimes it will go away and then it will come back and then it will go away and then she will think it's over. But then it will come back again. Yes, because guess what? Life troubles do not end. Those troubles those troubles that weaken us, that diminish our self-esteem, that cause us to be afraid, to worry, to think, that cause us to want to, you know, hate ourselves, that cause us to self-deprecate, they don't end. We just have to learn to confront them in a healthier way. We just have to learn to deal with them in a way that they do not diminish our self-esteem or in a way that we do not stifle our emotions and distort our judgments you know where we start to think that we have to take our own lives or we start to think you know very destructive things or indulge in destructive activities just you know thinking that it's a better escape method no they don't go away seek help darling seek help don't say oh i can do it I can help myself. I can fight it alone. Yes, I can. No, you cannot seek help. It is okay to seek help. It doesn't mean because you're weak or because you're stupid or because you're less of a person. No, it means that you're wise, that you know that you want to be alive to pursue your good goals, that you want to be alive to fulfill destiny. So you seek help. The strings of destiny is a connectivity that demands us to take care of ourselves, take care of one another and contribute to society. So it is okay. The strings of destiny says that someone else can help you. So you need to seek help. Don't fight it alone. Because when we are fighting it alone, this is where we fail and then we end up committing the suicide. Because when we can't take it anymore, we start to look for the exit route, a way out. And I say, please, forget that route. Forget that suicide route. You need to speak to someone. You need help. Ask for help. It is okay to ask for help. Your problems are not peculiar to you. So many people are going through the problems. Everyone in life has a problem. The difference is one person's ability to handle their problem better than the other. Everyone has a problem. The difference is one person's ability to take control of their emotions. So the emotions do not take control of them and drive them to commit suicide or drive them to become alcoholic or drug addicts because they can't take the pain. I know what excruciating pain can do to your soul. I know because I experienced it myself. So I speak to you from experience. I'm not speaking to you from the books I've read or from my imagination. You know, there's a difference between a teacher and a master. A teacher will read from books and translate knowledge. A teacher will imagine and transfer knowledge. A master comes from experiences. So I'm a master at what I do. So when I speak to you, darlings, I speak from my experiences, raw experiences. So I know what it is to have those suicidal thoughts. I know what it is to be in pain, to have trauma, anxiety attacks and depression and homelessness and hunger. And to feel lost, I know what it is I've been through it all. And I say to you, my darling, please seek help. Don't fight it alone. It's okay to seek help. Please seek help. Somebody will help you. Somebody will hold your hands and help you. There are organizations. Use your Google. They have phone numbers. You can contact them and they will send help to you right away. Don't fight it alone, please. Don't fight it alone. You have a purpose to fulfill on earth. You have a purpose. You have to give meaning to your resistance. Until you give meaning to that resistance, you're not ready to go home. Please 
suicide is not the way out is not the solution there are solutions out there for you and if you can find them alone there are people that are qualified and willing and able to take your hands to find that solution to help you so please don't fight it alone. It's what I say to you, that lady that asked, sent me that message, I said she's been trying to fight it alone. It's what I say to you, every other person out there, struggling, fighting it alone, thinking, pondering, feeling pain, hating, hating yourselves, feeling that you're not good enough, feeling that you need to end it, that there's no place for you in this world. It is not true. We all have a place in this world. We all need to fulfill destiny. We all are special. We all have a purpose to contribute to this society. So no, you have the right, as much as I do, as much as anyone else, to be in this world, to fulfill destiny. So seek help, please. I urge you to seek help. Pick up your phone, call for help. Call a family member. If you don't know how to call, if you cannot find it in your mind, if you don't have the, the, the focus, the courage to call the organizations to help you online, call a family member, call a friend, speak to them and they will help you. Call professionals that will offer you the help that you need. There is help out there. Please believe it. There is help. Do not give up, my darling. Don't give up seek help it is okay your life is special your existence in this world is special there is a purpose for it and remember your life is stringing along with the lives of so many older people and when you take your life you have already taken away you have taken away the chance for the older people whose destinies are stringing along with yours, you have shut down their own chances. You have shut down their own opportunities. You have deterred them from achieving their own purpose. Please, it's not all about you. It's about the society. It's about the rest of all the people whose destinies are stringing along with yours. We are all connected. Remember, when you hurt so many other people, we hurt along with you when you succeed so many other people will succeed along with you when you achieve great success when you achieve great things in life when you enjoy peace so many other people are enjoying the same thing i want you to know that it's not all about you there are other people whose destinies are stringing along with yours hence the purpose you have in this world you have to fulfill destiny, and that's part of your destiny. Please seek help. Don't fight it alone. All right, darlings, please seek help. I'm here to help. So many people are there to help. Pick up my books. You will find great help. It would lift up your spirit. It will inspire you. It will elevate you. That's what these books will offer you. Healing. The healing that you need. All right, darling? Please remember, it's ify.com, 3esfy.com. And you can visit my shop, 3esfy.com, ify shop, 3esfyshop.com. And you'll find great branded products that will inspire you more to also be creative, you know, and my books will bring you healing, will inspire you. The Valentine season is here next week. So pick up my beautiful products to give to people. Even these books are great gifting books for Valentine because they're all about inspiration. They will lift up somebody's spirit. They will inspire someone and change somebody's life. That's what it's all about, darling. So please, share love. Remember to always share love. You don't know what people are going through in their private lives. Don't assume because they post nice photos or nice videos or nice this or nice that, that everything is perfect. No one has a perfect life. Perfection is what we make of it as individuals. Nobody's life is perfect, darlings. Remember that. And please, remember to spread love, not hate. Love, please. People need it. We need most this time. Too many suicides. Please, let us it will, it will let us come together to stop it. It will take our collective efforts to heal our society. 
please, please, let's help one another. Let's spread love. I love you. Thank you for joining me. And remember to visit my social media pages. Follow me on Facebook, YouTube. Subscribe to my channel so that you can receive notifications for my updates. And share my videos and share your feedback because it inspires me to do more of my great works. All right, darlings, and follow me on Facebook and YouTube and Instagram and TikTok. It's all about inspiration. It's all about love. It's all about compassion. I love you. See you next week. Cheers.